Right then, I've come through the permissible path which cyclists can walk through. I managed to get the bike through a very narrow gate by lifting it up on the back wheel. I was able to do it. I remember doing it before. You improvise and you learn the tricks. Um, now, what I've, this is the first time I've been out and experienced a wild garlic this year. And I know Longwood would be absolutely amazing. But I know I'm going to miss it this year. But it doesn't matter. I call it a fallow year where there's lots of places I can't get to. Uh, especially Longwood, this time of year, is magnificent. But so are lots of other places. So there's an old track going down there. And this one's going to take me up onto a B road, which will take me to Winscombe Church. I think it's called St James. Um, it's a big, tall, towered church on the side of the hill, um, below Crook's Peak. <sighs> I say I use this little track quite a lot all year round here. I, I do a bit of when I get off the bus at Winscombe and I come across that field back there and I come up this track and um, head to the West Mendip Way up onto the Mendips. I'm actually not far from the Mendips. <laughs> this is actually all the Mendips as well. This is the Mendips. Right, I'm going to turn off. It's very hard to video actually going up here. Trying to steer on a bumpy track with one hand is not easy. And this is a big heavy bike by the way. Just a small Over video. Uh, it's difficult for me to video walking the bike. And obviously you can't get to the same places that you can when you're walking. So I've just come the other side of the church. The church is closed because of coronavirus. Now this is a walk I take along here. Sometimes I go up through the wood there, get on the top to walk to Crook's Peak. Uh, the church is just through here and the, my bike is just parked the other side of the gate. Beautiful views. And I just spotted Banwell Woods. And now the work they were doing at Loxton when I went to Crook's Peak the other week, I reckon that's part of the Banwell Bypass as well. It really looks like it to me. Um, it's bypassing the Banwell village, the other side of their wood. Then it'll join up with the motorway at some point. So that's going to be quite interesting to see where that comes out. But you, you are now going to, where it's been peaceful in this part of the valley, you're now going to see motorway in the future. But you see, I can see a time coming when people can't afford cars. So it'll just be the elite out of them. You know, I mean, there's a lot of poverty now. This coronavirus, loads and loads of people have lost their jobs. They don't know if there'll be work for them to go back to. They don't know if some shops, factories and that will all be closed forever. This is quite a big event that's gone on. So far, 30,000 people have died in the UK in the last six weeks. 30,000. Um, a lot die anyway at this time of year, but they said this is pretty big. So I've seen um, a Lockwood grave there, something Lockwood Thornton or Thornton Lockwood down there. I, I would have noticed it before. But there we got the... Um, the hills the other side of um, <sighs> Banwell that I climb up and go along. Um, that would take you eventually to Sanford and the um, Robero and all that. Over that way, all those walks I do. Uh, I had a view of the Banwell Castle a minute ago. I took a photo of it. Um, Yeah, Thomas Lockwood Thornton. Yeah, I've taken a picture of it. It's, uh, it's just back there. Now, when I was at Christon the other two weeks ago nearly, I looked to, I could just about make this church out. So, so far I've got to go yet, but it doesn't take long. It's straight up that valley. Then I'll climb up, and then I will have a bit of a climb where I go across a bridge. And it'll take me to Christon. 
and then I, I'm not going to Loxton. What I intend to do is climb up Western Lane, the Bluebell area. I'll push the bike up it. Basically, I'd love to come down it on the bike. But I'm going to go come back to Western via the Roman Road. So we've got Balmwell Castle over there. I'll just zoom in. It's in the little dip there. There's Balmwell Castle. Look, a lovely great big driveway up to it as well. And I knew a nurse friend of mine who got married in there. She didn't invite me though, but <laughs> no, we hadn't, I hadn't seen her for years. She, she just told me. There's a Banwell Wood, I believe, which is what I want to go in. But over there, because they said Hinkley Point, I, well, Hinkley Point have got signs up at Loxton where they're doing what looks like a road. And that certainly looks like a what I would say was the Banwell Bypass going on. So that is obviously going to cut right the way through and join up with that other road at Loxton, I should imagine. So if you don't come out and have a look round, you won't know any of this. So instead of a nice peaceful valley there, the motorway is down there somewhere. So it's the, mo the motorway is somewhere around there, or is it the other side? I get muddled up sometimes. But all I know, I'm going to be heading further up the valley in a minute. I'm just doing a bit of video in while I can. I'm going to stop now. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, peaceful graveyard, isn't it here? Yeah. Lovely with the with all the wild flowers growing. Yeah, I'm sure there's people, somebody I've been doing that's buried in this churchyard. Um, yeah, so I've got to I've got to go up that valley, and there's near that, close to that um, Banwell place. If I wasn't doing, going to Christon, I could go up a bunny lane, over a bridge, and up a bunny lane on my bike. But I'm not going to do that bridge. That's a different bridge. I want the one further up. So i just got to try and remember and not get lost. This is all local to me, really. I am Somerset born and bred. There's another way up that I take if I'm going to Crook's Peak. I go up through a gate there and up through the wood. Over and out then, everyone. On a beautiful spring day, I think it's May the 5th. <laughs>